Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Smith and the Black Channel here at Ticker Talker with the Strat Time Report. And a special day here, I'd like to share with you that uh, 40 years ago today, started my first job on the CBOE at the age of 15. So 40 years ago, uh, it's been a while. So <laughs> in those days, the uh, CBOE was suspended by weights. Uh, the actual trading floor on, in the uh, Board of Trade. But uh, 40 years ago, that's what I was doing. So 40 years later, let's take a look at what's going on. So we got the broader averages stock here. So we're starting a new month, right? And so here you can see S&P on the upper left. Spider is still an inside day. It has not taken out yesterday's highs. Of, oh, yeah, a little bit took out yesterday's highs. So we're still taking out last week's highs in the upper middle. Right? We're just not doing much. And so if you take a look at the guts of this thing, you're going to see the 60 minute like this. This is our, our new month. This is doing nothing. All right. So be aware of that. You got QQQ doing this. Look at this. <laughs> right? So futures are doing nothing. So if anybody's trying to tell you that, that they're looking at stuff like that, don't listen to them because they're doing nothing. So what that means is, is there's going to be certain sector themes that you can watch. And that's why you want to have um, a quote field of the major sectors to see who's actually doing something. And as well as staying on the percentage gainers and losers and the dollar gainers and winners and losers. So you can see stuff like that. So what we did have is crude oil. Here, your UCO. UCO having a nice little move here coming up off of that. And you're going to see here in the lower left, the outside bar. That's an expansion of both sides. Boom, 3-2 right up there and taking it up into the highs. So uh, we don't get to say this very often, but here comes some of the oils. And the OIH doing this. So OIH, you can see this here if you go to the lower left. Here's what we look for. The inside 30 right here and here right there inside bar takes it right up takes it up through there if you go to a 15 or you're going to see this right and here's one of the things the terminology is you'll hear me use say triangle the out and what that means is we go after the tight stops okay and so when the tight stops get taken out then we look for a compound outside bar and what i mean by that is here right here so you're going to see this on the 15 minute goes up here right that's a two to the upside this is a two to the downside right because it took out the lows then when it takes this out you see these two bars they're an outside bar of that that's what i mean triangle a out stop them out and then form the compound outside bar so uh you're going to see stuff like that you got how far these things are going to go you got the likes of halliburton and you can see this here in the last 15 minutes is this is something we would look for it totally is right here the inside 15 right like so still inside week if you go looking at the upper middle and stuff like that however getting closer to taking out last month's highs and uh we'll see they're going pretty far down the food chain today and once these futures do start doing something right we'll see some change in tones uh but uh, one of the good things like i said is on a day like today is you can track down certain uh, certain themes so certainly some energy names having some upside you have Costco also we've got some retail now Costco trying to lay out right now coming back in but you can see here on the weekly upper middle here taking this out you see this took out this high too this took out that low and then right here these two become an outside bar of that, right, on the weekly. So that's a good thing. Now, right now, they're in the lower left, they're triangling them out, so we'll see if they set up again. But uh, when you come to the halftime strat time show, you want to be looking for a nice long red and green bars. And then you're going to look for a theme and say maybe Target. How's Target doing? Target. All right, so Target taking out last month's highs in the middle, lower middle, right? So green on all time frames, and we get new 60s, and we'll see how this sets up. Okay, so if you go back to the 15 here. Here's what I'm talking about again. Take out the previous high, take out the previous low. Two, two, off she goes. These guys are an outside bar of that. Um, if we go to the Walmart, I believe it's coming up here too. Walmart a little bit, not as much, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Still inside week for the Walmart. It's a little quieter over there. Um, we had uh, also some, some retail, some CarMax. CarMax now triangles them out. And so here's what you look for. Now, you see this? This took out this low. All right, so here's how they try and them out. 2-2 two, two reversal, take out the high, boom, right here, going to stop out all these guys, all right? Then a slight lower low, and now as it goes 2-2 two, two reversal here, back over 99.61. It's right there right now, and we'll see if that can uh, continue. You're a green on the major time frames, and then you make sure that 60 reconfirms. Got a good chance of being an inside 60 on that, so we'll see what gives there. Uh, AMD. 
came out firing right out the chute. And so if you look at over here on the far lower right, there's a list of stuff that we're keeping an eye on for certain reasons. And so the good thing is when you understand all the things I'm talking about, um, we don't have to have, have our guru bless our trade, right? We know what buys and sells look like. And so when you just type simple symbols in, when you pull up multiple time frames, based on what I'm, I've been showing you since I've been here at TickerTogger, we know whether something's a buy or sell, right? So here on the monthly, you can see lower middle, bright green, another week of bright green, Look at this day. Inside day, upper left. Is that something we look for? Certainly do. Inside day and bam. Then even if you missed it, lower left. Inside 60. Now we got a new 60 minute, right? We're always going to watch that 60. That's like a new day to us. But AMD came out firing also to Baidu. And Baidu came out firing too. And you can see this. Once again, on the upper middle. All right? You can see this. Take out the lows. That's a two down. Right there, T2 reversal back up over 12045, trade 12539, not bad at all. A little fast on that 60. How about some 15ers? A little quick, but this is an outside 15. And you can take this. Three, two, right there, and there's your inside 15er. Buy a little bit more, and if y'all still missed it, two down, two up, and you're in. And I can see if it does that again. Uh, T Doc. And this is on our macro list and stalling out here a little bit, but inside day on the upper left, this is also an inside year and up, right? And so that's something we'd want to know about, right? Because <laughs> this year has been fantastic for it. Right now, just stalling out a little bit, so we'll see what that gives us, see if we can get an inside 60, something like that. We've got AVGO. And AVGO, this was in the on the uh, weekend video, and I talked about it yesterday, I believe, here in the upper middle. You're going to see the inside week break, right? Above 318.40. And I believe I talked about this yesterday and in the weekend video. And if that works and triggers, we're looking for the inside month break here. Above 324.33, which we got today. So there you can add on something like that. And uh, that's what we look for, and that's why I'm going to keep talking about it. <laughs> All right. Sedge, S E D G. Sedge on the gapper list got out that out the shoot pretty quick but here you can see on the on the daily you had your corrective activity before this news came out stop them out is what we call triangle they out two down two two reversal to the upside and all you got to do is go to your 30 minute and say thanks uncle robbie thanks for 40 years of work to tell me all i got to look for is up inside and gone thanks for playing uh we go to ups amg goes to the house as i speak UPS coming down on the 30, so that's triangle layout. We'll see if that sets up again. You can see here you got your inside 30 over here, and we've been talking about that since this inside month, you might recall. Inside month back in the lower middle, back through previous range, get hit. Then here, if you go to the upper left, you're going to see the inside inside day and takes that out. So we'll see if there's anything more comes of that. Right now, like I said, these futures just meandering and doing a whole bunch of nothing. So we can go down the food chain a little bit. Um, WIMI just had a nice pop. We'll see that's coming in now. And see on this thing, inside day, upper left. All right. In the middle, 2-2 two -two reversal on the week. Taking that back up. Handily going to be an inside month, as you can see in the lower middle. But then here is this something we look for. It certainly is in the 30. Look at this. Inside bar, pokes down. Boom. Revstrat right here over 810. And up she goes. Now she's coming back in. We'll see. And if you go to the 60, you're going to notice it was not inside on the 60. All right. And this is what we call, it did start off as a Revstrat 60 though right here, didn't it? Inside, boom. But this is what we call a sideways 60. And this is if your, if your software updates at the top of the hour, this would be an inside 60. If your software up, up, updates at the bottom of the hour, it's not. But we know that this was a 60-minute period, right? We do. And so then we use this to trigger that, to trigger that. And hopefully when you have full time frame counting the, to the upside, good things tend to happen. We also got a little bit coming up from uh, some of the XLP stuff. You got Kimberly Clark coming up here. Was that inside day? Still tight ranger there. Yep, inside day to the upside, KMB. Green on all time frames and still going. And right here, once again, inside bar. And then right here, anybody got short, got jammed right here because you ran into natural buyers because it's green on all time frames. So anybody thought this thing was going to roll back down, got handed to them. SJM. So more stuff coming back up. 
and you can see this here on the lower middle inside month to the upside right so we're going to keep maintaining these greens to see how they go with OLED coming up here oh, I'm sorry we had Proctor we'll stick with the XLP for a second Proctor and Gamble also coming up here there's your outside 60 to start the day down the lower left three two boom off she goes and uh, so Proctor still green on all time frames um, OLED and OLED Another thing we look for here, upper left, the Momo Hammer, all right? And what that means is anybody who got short here and was hoping this thing was going to roll back down today got jammed right here, bam, took them, took them to task but fast. And once again, green on all time frames means good, but we got a new 60 coming here. With these features not doing a lot, you just want to be really aware of uh, when they do, there will be a tone change. Right now we're not seeing it. Uh, with Beyond the Meats. And beyond the meats, still just kind of trying to creep up here, but one of those inside weakers, if you go up to the upper middle, you're going to see that. And we're coming back to previous range. That's what we like. Triangle the out, inside, <coughs> and back up. ENPH. And ENPH came out pretty fast out of the gate here on a nice gap here in the lower middle. But you can see that also caused the inside weak on the upper upper middle. And then the lower left, I mean here, let's see if we can get you little creepy crawly here but you can get this here right here you see this slight lower low there it is there's your t2 reversal back up still trying to creep and crawl so amd still going here and amd here you can once again see this inside 15 even if you missed it inside 15 right here there you go we'll see if that sets up again uh not, i got casey's general store also coming up here and now starting to fade a bit but that you can see this here in the upper left right the daily the 2-2 reversal yesterday coming back through previous range. Now, these are all an outside bar of that. See that? It also, in the lower middle, causes the break of the inside month here above 167.06. And then here in the upper middle, two up, two down, boom, right there. And these become an outside bar of that. Pretty nifty, huh? The downside, not a lot here, but you got Facebook uh, is slight inside day to the downside. And so now, here in the 15er, here in three minutes... We can see if we rev strat the 15 back down. You see that inside bar pokes up and now potential coming back through that. We just got this here, the 30 down, and this goes into exhaustion risk. And what that means is when you have an inside bar that takes that and then that out, you want it to stay below that, right? Because that's, we're going to stop guys out. The question is whether the seller moves back down, right? Not just the stop guys, right? So we're going to see here in a half an hour, you get it inside 30 and in 15, you might get this one to go one two two and back down poo poo uh cyber and cyber now pops up a little bit you can see this here up in the upper le left the inside bar the poke up the one two two there's your rev strap back through previous range now it wipes all these guys out the question are they going to step down if you go upper middle you got an outside week now right and red on all the time frames so this is what we wait for let it to step up here triangle the out and now you're going to see if this 15 goes inside and then takes that back down because if it does it's starting off the new hour and be back right again. Uh, if we go to DVA and Vita here, you can see this inside on the 60 here, red on all time frames. You can see up the upper middle. It's also taking out last week's lows. 2-2 reversal back down. Upper left, you're going to see the inside day. Outside, inside, down. 3-1-2 Chicago punishment. All right, so we'll see if we're going to get this 60 to break down into there. Uh, we have uh, SWKS. Here also, um, starting off the month, and you can see this upper upper left. Your two up, your two down reversal here on the daily, right? And because it's the beginning of the new month, that causes everything to now go back red. You see, and so that tells us we got sellers in there at least to start off the month. Future still not doing much here. You got a, just a couple more here. T R E X here now trying to come back up after trying to that. We'll see if they. They take that down. If you go to the upper middle, you're going to see the outside weak. So when you have an outside bar, you want to stay there because that means they're willing to pay up and they're willing to sell down. And if they're willing to do it once, they might do it again. And that's what you're going to see here, potentially in the lower left. They would creep all the way back up. Here was a nice smash in the upper left. There's a 2-2 reversal on the daily, and it didn't gap. It opened here. Then you can take it there to stop all these guys out. You see? Okay, looks like I'm running out of time. Just one more. I think Amgen staying weak. And you can see this here, inside 60 down in your lower left, right there. And you can see in the up, upper left, the 2, 2, 2, back down to potentially take this out and be an 
outside bar of all that. All right, well, like I said, on a day like today, you're going to be bouncing around a lot. We're going to be looking at a lot of different stocks, and then every hour we're going to be looking for that stuff to, to uh, reconfirm or negate because anytime these futures decide to, to wake up a bit, uh, we might have something to do. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, Smith of the Black Channel here, ticker-talking with the Strat Time Report.